Mr. Pocan is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, the agricultural appropriations bill is especially important uh, to my district. I, I live in a rural town of 874 people, the town of Vermont, Wisconsin. Uh, the town halls uh, down the road and around the corner from the house. Uh, the only commercial enterprise we have is a small ski hill. Um, at night, I can hear the weaning of calves. Uh, I've got chickens or roosters, I should say, waking me up in the morning. Uh, I get the email every now and then that if they see the wayward goat or cow that broke through the fence, if we can let the neighbor know, uh, it would be helpful. We probably have the most popular farm CSA uh, in the entire county is in the town of Vermont. Very proud of that. And I get deer in the yard pretty much every day. Uh, so I live in a very rural area. I was excited to see uh, what was going to be in this appropriation bill, given uh, what I've heard the majority talk about caring about rural America. And then I was shocked to see that we were taking a 30 percent cut going back to uh, the 2007 budget levels of spending, uh, $8 billion less uh, for those people who live in rural Wisconsin. And I was wondering how my rural constituents would see this disrespect from the majority party in South Central Wisconsin with higher energy costs, uh, less availability for loans, and real hurt uh, to their farms and their rural communities. And I know that people are going to say, don't worry, rescissions will fix this. Well, we know that's fantasy Congress, right? Uh, we're already breaking the promises from just two weeks ago uh, on what we're doing here. That's not real. The reality is that there's a 30% cut to rural issues uh, by the GOP majority in this uh, bill. And in addition to that 30% cuts that are going to be felt uh, in my district, uh, we've got some amendments that are going to go off into la-la land again. We're going to talk about abortion, diversity, uh, and I don't know who it is in your caucus, but has this obsession on sex. Um, I understand Putin's playbook is going to be coming back in. We're, we're worried about pride flags, apparently over farms. We're going to get queer corn or gay garbanzo beans or something. I wouldn't worry about that. They're just going to taste more fabulous if it happens anyway. Um, but you also have language about marriage between a man and woman taking us back to 2004 state law. I guess I get it. This budget goes back to 2007 budget levels. But this is really kind of a little back to the future-esque. Look, uh, this unfortunately is a ridiculous bill in an area that really shouldn't be. That's very important to many of us who live in rural areas. It's hard to take seriously, but my rural constituents are going to take it very seriously when they see what's going to happen to them and their farms and their rural communities. But these cuts do show the priority uh, by the majority party uh, to them and about what you really think about rural America. And uh, I'm going to oppose this bill. I yield back. 